Where are the little rascals? Oh, they were just here literally a second ago. Fire! Oh, oh, Kendall! Tyler, that is not how you greet our guests. Please apologize to your Uncle Jake right now. We're sorry. Deja's right. You know, you should be sorry. Sorry for starting a war! <laughs> the Three Musketeers. Looks like nothing has changed, and my little bro is still one big kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Speaking of changes, has Jake gotten any closer to, you know? Who knows? 12 years and counting, and he keeps saying he's going to propose once his music career takes off? Oof. I don't know. I might be waiting forever. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. What's for dinner? I'm so hungry. I brought donuts for dessert. I know how much you love them, Molly. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> what in don't ask? It's the only way they eat spaghetti. <laughs> huh. So, Jake, how's work going? Are you still temping at that warehousing company? No way, Jose. That was like three jobs ago. Yeah, stocking shelves is way beneath me. Mm-hmm. What? If it were up to you, I'd still be a corporate slave with no time to work on my music. Honey, you know how close I am to finishing up my demo for the record labels. Look, I'm not trying to be unsupportive of your music, but you got to grow up sometime, man. He's right. And the only way to grow is by taking responsibility. Okay, well, if that's what taking responsibility looks like, I think I'm good. Well, I mean, I'm trying out for the basketball team at school, so... Yeah, nice. she's been practicing day and night. And Tyler's been working on getting his grades up since his report card came back with some interesting letters. Yes. Don't worry, buddy. I didn't do that well in school either, and uh, look how well I turned out, huh? <laughs> Oh. Come on. Are you what? kidding? What? What? In some cultures, that's considered a compliment. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot the PTA meeting is tonight. We have to be at the school in 30 minutes. Come on, we missed the last one. We really can't miss another one. Well, we don't mind watching the kids if you guys gotta go. Wait, what? Molly, no, no, no. I'm not a, I'm not a babysitter. Okay, and I was supposed to record tonight. We want you, Uncle Jake. Yeah, please. please. <laughs> you own got money. I'm like your family. What does your dad do? Work at 7 Eleven? Where are they? They were supposed to be back like an hour ago. It's so rude not to at least call. He puts on some weird music. And then he gets Finally. A was there keys or something? I'll take you guys so Is this the residence of Madame Deja Shepherd? Yeah. We are gathered here today to celebrate the lives of Matthew and Deja Shepherd, beloved friends, loved ones, and parents. They were taken from us too soon. Thanks for coming by on such short notice. And I am uh, truly sorry for your loss. Looks like the will that Matt and Deja had drawn up a few years ago names you as Tyle and Kendall's guardian in case anything should ever happen to them. There's no way. No, no, no. I, I can't take care of two kids. We already planned the funeral. That's more than enough. Only other alternative would be to turn them over to the state and they would be put in foster care. N no, <laughs> that's not happening. We're gonna take them.
Schweden. Hey, I know it's not as big as what you're used to, but until we find something bigger, you guys can stay in the bedroom and Jake and I will take an air mattress out here, okay? Make yourselves at home. Whoa, buddy, hey, hey, not there. No one touches my music station, got it? My demo was on there. Can I get you guys anything? Hey. Anybody up for a Nerf war? Give us a sec. Actually. Where were you? The kids were waiting at school for over an hour. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I'm sorry. You forgot? What if I couldn't answer my phone? What if I was stuck in a meeting? What would have happened? How did the meeting with the realtor go? Um, I canceled it. You what? Why would you do that? We can't all fit in this apartment, Jake. We have to get a bigger place. Just, just give me a sec to explain, okay? I also quit my job because... Again? You've only been there three weeks. I know, I know. But honey, that's only because I got a meeting with an exec who wants to hear my demo next week, honey. Mm. If, when that meeting goes well, not only will I never have to work, but we can buy a house, Molly. I mean, forget about renting. Plus, I'll be able to... to... Spend more time with the kids and take care of them? No. No, the, the, the opposite, actually. <laughs> if my music gets picked up, I'll have even less time. So who's going to take care of Kendall and Tyler? I don't know. I, I didn't think about that. Mm. Of course. Molly. I was in a really good mood before you came in here and ruined everything. I didn't ask for this responsibility. Oh, and you think I did? You know what? I gotta go to work because some people take their responsibilities seriously. Hey, Uncle Jake. Do you have time to help me out with basketball tryouts? Yeah, and when you're done, can you please help me study for my history homework? Not now, guys. But Dad always helps. Well, I'm not your dad, okay? <sighs> what is all that racket? Kendall, what are you doing playing with that in the apartment? You could break something. And Tyler, what'd I say about my laptop? I have a history paper. I have to research I don't care what you're supposed to research. My demo is on there. Now give it. But if I don't research this, it'll fail. I failed history in school and the world didn't end. Now give it. Oh. My demo. It's ruined. Do you realize? much work I put into this. It was gonna be what finally got me a record deal, and I have no other backup. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be mad, Uncle Jake. Everyone makes mistakes. The only mistake I made was agreeing to taking care of you two. <laughs> now pack your bags. I'm doing what I should have done in the first place. Finding someone who can actually take care of you. Who wants to take care of you. You're all we have left, Mom and Dad, you- I don't know what your parents were thinking. Okay, Kendall? I'm not your dad, and you're not my kids. And I'm definitely not ready for all the responsibility that comes with that. Now hurry up. Go! Move! Please, Uncle Jake. 
We promise we'll be better. I'll never touch your laptop ever again. Yeah, and I don't even have to try out for the basketball team if he makes you that mad. I'm sorry, guys, but I just wasn't cut out for this. I didn't sign up to be a dad. Look, it doesn't mean we can't still see each other. I can still visit you sometimes and be your Uncle Jake. Yeah, don't bother. You're not the person I thought you were. Come on, Tyler. What happened to your laptop? I found it on the floor and it wasn't turning on, but then I fixed it, so it works now. <laughs> are you serious? Mm, yeah. Where are the kids? I'm making pasta. <clears throat> They're not coming. What do you mean? Now, don't get mad. But I dropped them off at CPS. You what? I had to. All their stuff lying around everywhere, using my things without asking. They were causing fights between us, Molly. Tyler even broke my laptop. Or at least I thought he did. They were ruining our lives, Molly. And what about their lives, Jake? They just lost their parents, your brother and sister-in-law. And what, you just threw them away? Like you do everything else? What is that supposed to mean? You can't commit to anything. You refuse to hold down a job, you refuse to get rid of this apartment and let go of your bachelor pad. And you know what? After all this time, you won't even propose to me. I told you. I'm just waiting for my music career to take oh, off. And then I'll buy you the it's biggest- It's been 12 years, Jake. It's never gonna take off. You know what? Neither is this relationship. You don't mean that. I do. I can't do this anymore. I can't. What? No. Molly, you can't just leave me like that. You can't just leave me like that! So what do you think? Listen. Music's good. But if I'm being honest, this isn't the sort of thing that I'm looking for right now. I'm sorry. But hey, at least you still got your day job, right? Smoke fills 
Seriously? Nice work, Tyler. Woo! <laughs> you know what? I think this is fridge worthy. <gasps> Miss her, don't you? Why don't you try calling or texting her? I have, but she won't. Uh... Sorry, guys, I, <clears throat> I just need a minute. Wait, I have an idea. Come on. Hey. Guys, you said it was an emergency. Is everything OK? Sorry to use the kids, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Please, have a seat. You have three minutes. What's up? Well, first, I'd like to tell you that other than having the kids already, I got a job. I've already been there for two months, going on three. And I even have my own business card. See? I thought you said stocking shelves was beneath you. Well, technically, I'm not stocking shelves since I'm the warehouse manager. But even if I was, I'd be fine, too, because I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Well, so who's picking up the kids while you're at work? It's such a long commute. Actually, it's not that far anymore, because we moved. I've got a much nicer place now. <laughs> you let go of the bachelor pad. <laughs> Wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> I can't believe you're making all these changes. Well, it took some time to adjust. You know, I may not have the rock star lifestyle that I imagined or the dream house. And it does take a lot of work taking care of two kids. Yeah. But at some point, I realized that I have to grow up. And as a wise person once told me, if you want to grow, you have to take responsibility. Wow. I'm really happy for you, Jake. Is there anything else you needed to say? Yeah. Molly, I have the job. I got the house. I even have the kids. But there is one thing missing. And that is you. Molly, Elizabeth Miller. I know that it's taken me a long time to get here, but there is no one that I'd rather go on this crazy adventure of life with than you. You complete me. And this family. So, will you marry me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's I know it's not a ring. I spent all my money on our new house, but I promise you, as a new Jake, I will get you your dream ring one day soon. But in the meantime, I hope this is okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 
but only because I love donuts. <laughs> really? You're just gonna eat my ring? I love donuts. I was hungry. <laughs>